Hey Kirsten, it's Mr. Ng. Uh, here's a little video to show you how to make a bar graph um, in Google Sheets. So I already have um, the data already here, right? I just numbered all of my seeds. Here's the experimental I put under experimental and I just put all my root links underneath. And then here's the control, right? Um, you know, this is the one in just the water and I put all my root links underneath. Uh, notice that I didn't put CM, I didn't put centimeters there, I only put the numbers. If you put in centimeters, it, it messes it up. Okay, so don't put in centimeters. And then it becomes very easy, just highlight this whole area, right, all three of them, go to insert, go to chart, right, and then it does it for you, all right? Sometimes it doesn't uh, do it immediately for you, and then you have to go over here, you have to pick a uh, column chart, right, which is what was suggested, and there you go, that, that looks pretty good. Right. Um, let's just insert this. Okay. And then uh, let me make this a little smaller so that I can see this chart. Okay. So this chart is okay, but um, you'll lose some points for this chart because you don't have axes titles. That's pretty easy to put in. I would click onto one of these, double click it, and then go here where it says uh, chart axes and title. We don't want the chart title. We want the horizontal axis title. The horizontal axis title is the seed number, right? That was seed number one, seed number two, right? Seed number, done. Seed number shows up. And then we want to do the vertical side also, so I'm going to double click there. And then we'll go to our chart and axes again. This time I'm going to pick the vertical axis title. And then this is the root length in centimeters. Boom, done. See? And now I have a pretty fancy chart, and it obviously shows that my experimental uh, roots were super short. You know, um, if we're here in Sheets, I might as well teach you how to find the mean, median, mode. So that's also very easy to do. Let me just move this sucker here. Get out of here, chart. So to find the mean, I'm just going to label this mean. I'm going to label this median. I'm going to label this part mode. And Sheets makes it very easy. Uh, there are uh, little functions within Sheets that you can use. It all starts with the equal sign. I'm going to press equal sign. See that? See that equal sign here? I'll zoom in a little. All right. Oops. I'm going to go equal sign. To find the mean, the, the code is average. So I'm going to type equal sign A V E R A G E. Open parentheses. Get out of here. And I'm going to highlight, uh, yuck. Get out of here. Equal average. I'm going to highlight all these suckers. Good. Close parentheses. And that finds the average for me, right? This is the mean. To find the median, put equal sign, M-E-D-I-A-N. Open parentheses. Highlight this whole bit. Close parentheses. Press equal. And it finds the median for me. Fortunately, the median and mo uh, the mean and median in this example are the same. And then I'm going to find the mode. I'm going to do equal sign M O D E to find the mode. Open parentheses, highlight this whole bit, close it, and it says it's N A, which is common because there's no repeated number. So you could just say that there's no mode. Let's just backtrack this. Good. And then a fancy thing about sheets is that um, I could copy this equation over. All right, I'm just going to highlight these two numbers, and then I don't want the arrow, I don't want the hand. If I move it right over this box, notice how my cursor becomes a cross. I'm going to hold that down, drag it over, and look, it finds me the median and the mode, uh, the mean and the median for me. I'm just going to change the color of this so it looks a little bit better. All right, so now. I have the mean and median, right? I'm not going to do mode because I probably won't find one. And I have a fancy chart. I hope that helps, um, Kristen. Um, if you have any other questions, um, you got to send me a reminder pretty early because uh, I do have a life. Have a good day. Thanks for uh, asking about this stuff. Bye.